This week, AI robots crossed a line. Engine AI's T-800 was walking beside real police officers on the streets of Shenzhen like it was part of the routine. Then Unitree G1 turned a training session into viral chaos after a kick landed exactly where it shouldn't have. And in a Chinese lab, a robot is rallying in badminton against a human like this is just another day at work. This week in Shenzhen, Engine AI's T-800 humanoid robot was seen walking beside real police officers in a busy tourist area. There was no stage, no tech conference, and no safety perimeter. Just a humanoid robot moving through public streets alongside uniformed officers, matching human pace and posture as if it belonged there. What makes this moment powerful is how normal it looked. The T-800 did not move stiffly. There was no hesitation. Each step was controlled and deliberate. The robot maintained balance, spacing, and direction while surrounded by pedestrians, noise, and constant motion. This was not a lab test or a scripted demo. It was a real environment with crowds, uneven ground, and distractions, conditions where humanoid walking usually fails. And yet, the T-800 moved cleanly through it all. But walking is only one part of the system. Engine AI designed the T-800 as a full-size humanoid robot, nearly the height and weight of an adult human. The platform can walk faster than a normal person, turn smoothly, and operate for several hours on a single charge. Sensors in the hands allow precise object handling, while the full body structure is built for high pressure environments like factories, service roles, and security testing. This is not a one-off prototype. The T-800 is designed for scale and mass production. Then came the moment that removed any remaining doubt about capability. In an earlier video, Engine AI CEO Zhao Tongyang stood in front of the T-800 wearing protective gear. The robot delivered a controlled force strike, knocking him down on camera. The point was simple. This robot is not limited to gentle motion. It can apply real physical force when instructed. Walking beside police is not about appearance. It signals readiness. And once humanoid robots can move naturally among humans, real-world deployment accelerates faster than expected. A humanoid robot followed instructions perfectly. A human didn't. What happened next turned a lab test into viral history. What starts as a serious robot training session suddenly turns into one of the most painful moments the internet has seen. Inside a robotics lab, Unitree G1 is being trained using a motion capture suit. The setup is straightforward. Every movement a human makes, Unitree G1 copies in real time. This is how the robot learns balance, speed, and complex martial arts motion. Everything looks controlled. Everything looks precise until one small detail gets ignored. Both the human operator and Unitree G1 are facing the same direction. That single mistake changes everything. The operator lifts his leg to demonstrate a martial arts kick. Unitree G1 mirrors the motion perfectly, but the kick never reaches the robot. Instead, the operator's own foot flies upward and lands painfully. He drops instantly. And here's the crazy part. Unitree G1 doesn't pause or hesitate. The robot copies the collapse too, bending forward in the exact same posture. The room erupts with laughter. Within hours, the clip spreads across social media and explodes worldwide. But here's the mind-blowing truth. Nothing malfunctioned. Unitree G1 did exactly what it was trained to do. Motion capture systems exist for precision learning. They teach robots how to kick, recover, and move with human timing. When orientation is wrong, precision turns brutal. This wasn't a glitch. This was accuracy working perfectly. Now zoom out. Unitree G1 is not a joke robot. Unitree has already shown G1 performing fast spins, controlled kicks, low sweeps, and even backflips. None of that footage is sped up. The robot balances on one leg, shifts weight smoothly, and lands cleanly after aerial moves. That level of control takes advanced motors, fast sensors, and real-time decision-making. Priced around $20,000, Unitree G1 is built for research labs, pushing physical AI forward. The line between training and competition just disappeared. A robot is now rallying against a human in one of the fastest sports on Earth. Fibot C1 is not performing a staged routine or replaying preset motions. The robot is standing on a badminton court, 
facing a human player, reacting to live shots in real time. Every serve, every return, and every recovery happens without pauses, without remote control, and without a human guiding the robot's movements. This is direct interaction happening at full speed. Badminton pushes reaction limits in ways most people underestimate. The shuttlecock can suddenly slow down, accelerate, or change direction midair. Timing errors last milliseconds. Fibot C1 handles this chaos by predicting motion instead of waiting for impact. The robot calculates where the shuttle will land, how fast it is traveling, and how much time remains, then moves its entire body to meet the shot. But here's the staggering part. The movement feels fluid. The robot steps into position, rotates its torso, adjusts balance, and swings with smooth coordination. This is not animation. Fibot C1 is trained using multi-stage reinforcement learning, which means the robot improves through outcomes, not scripted paths. Each rally sharpens control, timing, and spatial awareness. Above the court, a dense camera system tracks the shuttlecock in three-dimensional space. That real-time data feeds into the robot's perception system, giving faster responses than human reflexes alone. And unlike a human athlete, Fibot C1 does not slow down. There is no fatigue. There is no drop in accuracy. Performance stays consistent rally after rally. This is not about sports entertainment. This is about robots operating freely in shared environments. When a robot can predict motion, adapt instantly, and respond naturally under pressure, it signals a shift. Training is no longer the end goal. Real-world interaction has already begun. This is Hobbs W1, a service robot created by Noidix Robotics. Hobbs W1 doesn't walk on two legs. It rolls smoothly on wheels. But that's not what makes it interesting. What stands out immediately is the head, realistic in a way you don't expect. Hobbs W1 features a highly realistic human-like head wrapped in soft synthetic skin. Hobbs W1 robot can make facial expressions. We're talking genuine smiles, natural blinking, even eyebrow movements, and react instantly during conversations. When someone speaks, the head gently turns. When someone pauses or reacts, Hobbs W1 responds in return. Noidix made a smart choice here. They didn't go for the cartoon look or try to make it super cute. They also didn't try to make it look exactly like a real person. Instead, Noidix chose a middle ground. The robot is expressive enough to feel familiar, but still clearly a machine. That balance helps people feel comfortable, not uneasy. For the first time, a service robot doesn't feel like a tool. It feels like something that's present. Now let's talk about what this robot actually does. Noidix didn't design Hobbs W1 for heavy lifting in warehouses or working on factory floors. This is a people-focused robot. Think hotels, shopping centers, office lobbies, places where talking to people is more important than moving heavy boxes. The robot includes a chest-mounted touchscreen, lightweight robotic arms for simple tasks, and smooth indoor navigation. It can welcome guests, give directions, deliver small items, and even operate elevator buttons. But tasks aren't what make Hobbs W1 different. Interactionist. Hobbs W1 uses AI to read facial expressions, voice tone, and speech patterns. If a person seems tense, the robot adjusts its expression. If someone sounds upbeat, the response becomes warmer. This isn't real emotion, but it is emotional awareness. And that's a big shift. Most service robots focus on being correct. Hobbs W1 focuses on making people feel comfortable. Online viewers quickly notice something interesting. Hobbs W1 closely resembles a well-known Chinese influencer, Dali Ocean, who is famous for robotic-style movements and an anime-inspired look. That similarity wasn't accidental. Noidix wanted Hobbs W1 to sit right between human familiarity and futuristic design. Not perfect realism, approachability. Inside, Hobbs W1 runs powerful local computing. Conversations are processed directly on the robot, without relying on constant internet access. That means faster responses and more reliability in places where Wi-Fi can be unstable. This is exactly why hotels are paying attention. Businesses value consistency. Hobbs W1 never gets tired, never loses patience, and never has a bad day. Every guest gets the same calm, polite experience, every time. Research already shows that many travelers are comfortable interacting with robots, and in some cases, they even prefer them. Consistency builds trust, and robots are very good at consistency. Still. Human-like robots make some people uneasy. That feeling is known as the uncanny valley. Noidix understands this risk. That's why Hobbs W1 avoids extreme realism. Movements are smooth, expressions are gentle, 
and reactions feel deliberate, not random or creepy. Noedix Robotics itself is a young company based in Beijing, founded in late 2023 by engineers from top institutions like Tsinghua University and the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Despite its age, the company is moving fast. Noedix has already built multiple robots, Bulmi for education, N2 for athletic motion, and now Hobbs W1 for expressive interaction. Each robot serves a different role, showing a clear long-term strategy. This isn't just a demo project either. Noedix plans to scale production to about 1,000 robots per month, supported by tens of millions of dollars in funding and new manufacturing facilities. At the same time, the global service robot market is growing rapidly, especially in hospitality and public spaces. Timing matters, and Hobbs W1 arrives at the right moment. But the biggest question remains. When a robot listens, smiles, and reacts like a human, does that change how we treat it? Some people will feel welcomed. Others will feel uncomfortable. Noedix believes the answer lies in emotional design. Robots that don't just perform tasks, but connect naturally. Hobbs W1 may be just the beginning. The company is already working on a larger humanoid robot designed for physical labor. If Hobbs W1 represents the face of Noedix, the body may be coming next. One thing is clear. The future of robotics isn't only about power or speed. It's about presence, interaction, and understanding people. So here's the question. Would you trust a robot like this as a receptionist? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you think this is wild, what comes next might surprise you even more.